Mesh networks are the most expensive home networking solution, but they make up for it by offering the fastest and most straightforward way to spread Wi-Fi around a large home. That is, until your shiny new mesh network slows to a crawl. If you're getting connectivity issues with a mesh Wi-Fi system, here are the key tips to troubleshooting slow mesh Wi-Fi speeds. Before we start troubleshooting, what speeds should you be getting? Your mesh network routers support a specific maximum speed according to the relevant Wi-Fi standard it uses. These speeds are ideal theoretical maximums, and in the real world, you can expect somewhat slower speeds. Of course, if your device or internet connection is slower than the fastest speed supported by your mesh router, then that's the speed you'll see. The first step in any good troubleshooting process is to restart the device. But in the case of mesh networks, you need to go about it in the right way. Turn off all of your mesh units and then turn them on one by one, ensuring that each unit has enough time to connect to the mesh. Apart from ironing out any random bugs, rebooting your mesh routers forces them to choose new Wi-Fi channels, which may have been the problem all along. Before you assume that your mesh network is having speed issues, you should disable any VPN or proxy connections you have set up before starting the troubleshooting process. If something is wrong with the VPN servers or the proxy server, that could cause slow mesh Wi-Fi speeds. It's best to eliminate all possible culprits to make sure you're actually testing the raw speed of your internet connection and not the VPN or proxy speeds. One of the first things you want to do here is eliminate your internet connection as the actual culprit behind your slow speeds. If there's a problem with your connection to the internet itself, it's important to make sure of this, or you may be trying to fix a problem with your mesh Wi-Fi network when it's actually your internet that's the issue. You also want to eliminate Wi-Fi as a factor, so it's best to test your connection with a direct ethernet cable connection. Where you plug in the ethernet cable will depend on how your network is configured. If you have a modem through which the mesh network is connected, plug your ethernet cable into that modem. Some fiber optical network terminals, also called ONTs, have ethernet ports, and if you use those to test your internet speeds, you can be sure nothing else in your home is using bandwidth. Just remember to disconnect your mesh router or primary mesh router from the modem or ONT first before testing. A mesh network is only as good as the weakest link in the mesh. This is especially true if one unit that serves as a central hub for other units is faulty somehow. To ensure that it's not one particular mesh unit causing issues, turn them all off and then test each one individually as you turn them on again. If the speed issues are related to a specific unit, it should rear its head as soon as you turn it on. Your mesh routers have to be distributed in such a way that each unit can speak to at least one other unit properly. If the mesh isn't performing the way it should, there's a good chance that you need to reposition some units to get the optimal spread. Even if things were working well before, something might have changed in the meantime to influence how well the signal is getting through. Move your mesh units closer to the primary unit connected to the internet to see if that improves things. Remember that some materials block Wi-Fi signals and that you should not put your mesh router inside cupboards and closets. As far as possible, they should have a direct line of sight of each other or at least have as few walls or objects between them as you can manage. For more advanced troubleshooting tips, check out the article linked in the description below. See you next time.